Hi guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am so, so excited because we got some Dave's Hot Chicken. They recently put this place in Ohio. It is in Cleveland and I drove here to come get it. I've had this place twice before, both times in LA and I door dashed it one night and then I like door dashed it again like two days later because I was like, this is so good. So I'm so happy we finally have one. Ohio's getting hip. <laughs> So, I got the sliders and chicken fingers. I'll show you guys a close up of everything. Look how vibrant those chicken fingers are. And those sandwiches are like beautiful. <laughs> and then I got a ton of extra Dave sauces. But the place is so cute. Like it's so colorful with like graffiti everywhere. Cause I've never seen the inside of one. I've only ever door dashed it. But now we have one. And then I also got a bunch of honeys and ketchup. Lots of sauces. Lots of sauce. I don't even really remember what the Dave's sauce tastes like. It kind of looks like cane sauce, but we will try. So for the chicken, I got both mild. So there's like six different levels of spice. There's no seasoning, no spice, light mild, mild, medium, hot, extra hot and then like Carolina Reaper so there's a a lot of them and I know their chicken is spicy and I asked my brother I was like which one did you get when you came here because he lives near Dave's hot chicken and he told me the mild is good and not too too spicy and then I also got a mild chicken sandwich and I also got the medium to try out oh my gosh I just cannot believe how beautiful these are and then the fries, oh, they give you so many pickles too. Look at all these pickle slices. And then you get like regular toast. So I ordered a lot of extra sauce. I probably did not need to do that. I didn't know it like came with it. Let's try a fry in the sauce. Mmm. Yeah. That's really good. It's like a mayonnaise-y, mayonnaise -y sauce. Sorry we're kind of like in the sun. Um, in Cleveland, like there's not really parking lots, so I had to pay on the meter. And I feel like there's like no other spots. So we're just like on the side of the road. Mm. These are massive chicken fingers. Ooh, they're burning hot. Let's try the sandwich. So I also added cheese on here. Look at that beauty so I've never had the slider before this is what my brother recommended for me to get so let's try it look at it dripping oh my god So pickle, onion, lettuce, cheese. I'm not sure, I think this one's the mild one. It only has like a little bit of a kick. The other one looks a little bit more red. That's messy. I'm trying to sit out in the sun as best as possible. <laughs> That's messy. That sauce. Really good. So yeah. They're also putting, Cleveland's getting a cool. They're putting a Korean fried cheese place in Cleveland and they have mochi donuts, which, I, which I've always wanted to try those. They're like donuts like with balls going around it and then they also have mochi ice cream and a ton of different Korean fried cheeses like they already have the menu posted. They have ones that have like ramen noodles as the the crust, flaming hot Cheetos. Wow, that's so good. Woo! Spicy.
Mm -mm -mm. It's been a while since I've had this place. So I believe the Korean fried cheese place opens like October 1st. So you guys already know, I'm gonna be the first one there. I don't care if I have to wait in line, I will be there. The temperature is really hot. This was definitely worth the drive. I can't wait for the Korean fried cheese place though. They have one in Columbus too, and they were building it for like six months, and as soon as I moved, they opened it. <laughs> so, whenever I'm back in Columbus again, I'll get Meyering hot dogs. Meyering? Meyering. I forgot how to say it. But that one is like the one I've had in LA. This other one I've never had. But I'm sure it's gonna be good. Flaming Hot Cheetos Korean Fried Cheese? So here they just give you normal bread. Uh, I don't even think it has butter on it. Let's dip it in the sauce. Can't go wrong with bread. So yeah, the last time I was in LA, I think it was like about a year and a half ago, I ate out no joke every day for two weeks like every meal and I went with my ex and like he was gone like every day all day doing stuff and I was just like alone for two weeks in LA I honestly was bored like that's why like I would go out and do stuff but I was like bored so that's when like I could definitely never live there I hate not being able to park like, here you can just go to Target and park in the parking lot and there's plenty of room. There, you have to like go in a parking garage, find a spot or like find a spot on the street and then like walk a mile. Like that's just like not my type of vibe. Even up here, it's so horrible to park. I went to this Italian festival. It was in Cleveland. Um, you guys may have saw it on my foodie Instagram. Of like the meatball sub I ate and that pasta. Oh, everything was so good. But me and my friends drove around trying to park for like 30 so minutes. Like we could not find a place to park. And then we ended up having to park like so far away. And then it said like no parking on the street. And then we asked the police officer. And he's like, yeah, that's, you can park there for today. But it's like, I didn't remember these chicken fingers being so big. Like, like holy. And I got two meals. Mmm. I love how the seasoning like coats your lips. Cause Cane's is not like that. I feel like there's like no seasoning. I love Cane's though. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I've been craving Cane's. Cane's sent me a box, like a PR box for stuff for Hershey, like a collar. <laughs> Like a bandana, so I need to take her to do a Cane's mukbang so she can wear it. Isn't that funny though? Okay, should I try this hot sandwich now and see how much hotter it is? I'm almost out of water, so hopefully it's not too hot.
Oh wow. You wouldn't think medium would be like hot. Like, you know, it's just medium. That's pretty hot. I definitely like the mild better. And these Cajun fries. Mmm. Where do you guys live? Comment down below. Do you live in a more city? Like, what do you prefer? I definitely like it being, like, kind of busy, but not, like, super busy. I'm, like, in the middle of a city and, like, farm. It's, like, kind of a little bit of both. Mmm. My brother's lived in the city for a while now, like three years. He also lived in New York for a month. He just got back like not too long ago. Hmm. Him and his friends went and got an Airbnb and just lived there for a month. Like how fun is that? I wanna do that. I wanted to go visit while they were there, but their Airbnb was like really, really small. Like there would have been no room for me to even come. I can't believe how big these chicken fingers are. I've been to New York twice. I went once in the winter time around Christmas and it was so pretty. Freezing though, like I would wear so many layers underneath my jacket and be drinking like a hot cocoa and I'd wear like two pairs of leggings under my jeans and I was still like shivering. Like I don't like the cold that much. Like really cold. But I went ice skating at the Elf Arena. <laughs> The rocket, what's it called? The rocket something? The one from the movie Elf. That they're ice skating around. I might go to Vegas next year. Which I've been wanting to go to Vegas. There's this ice bar that looks so cool. Um, when you go in, you have to like pay for the jacket, but you get like a big winter coat and like everything is ice. The whole room is ice. The shot glasses are like made of ice. Like everything is ice. And that one restaurant where like they slap you if you don't finish your plate. What's it called? Mm, it's called something like fat You guys know what I'm talking about they like put you on a scale and then like if you don't finish your plate You get smacked <laughs> Oh my gosh And Gordon Ramsay's restaurant is there and in and out mm, In and out Driving here was a bit confusing. There was so much construction on the highway. I don't know, it's been like that for years. Just like construction everywhere. And like it's like a one lane highway with the big barriers on each side. I'm like, I think it's kind of scary. Cause it's like the walls are like right there and you're going so fast. It's a little scary. But yeah, the construction has been going on for so long. Like I don't know when. It's gonna be done. Those are good fries. Pickle. 
Did I tell you guys how I went to a pickle festival? <laughs> a pickle festival, I know. They had all different flavored pickles. Except not as many as, as I thought there was going to be. I thought there'd be like 10 different flavors. Like salt and vinegar, Cajun, just like a ton. But there was only garlic and habanero and regular. But they also had pickle grilled cheeses, pickle pizza. And a pickle contest. But not like a normal one. They tied pickles on a string and you had to be on your knees. <laughs> and like the string was going like back and forth moving the pickles and it was whoever ate the pickle upside down the quickest. <laughs> we didn't join. We would have, but I think we were too late. Cause like they were already like starting. I so would have done that. I don't know how many pickles I could eat. Cause I know they do pickle juice contests. Ugh, I don't know. I could I don't think I could do the juice, but I think I could eat a lot of pickles. The juice is good, but like a whole jar. Ugh. You guys, my camera is overheating in the sun. Um, we are gonna have to cut this video off here. I'm actually full. Like, everything is just ginormous. Like, <laughs> and this was all only $20. I feel like that is really cheap for all of that. Like, these sliders, I would say, are a regular size chicken sandwich. That ain't no slider. It was so good though, so good, so worth the drive. My favorite, I think, was the chicken fingers though, just because they're so like crispy and easier to eat than the sandwich, and then the fries are really good as well. Dave's Hot Chicken, let's see, what should we do next for a mukbang? Leave a comment down below what you want to see me do, and if you see someone else that has already commented it, go like it or leave a comment on their comment saying like, yes, so I see it. I kind of want to do Cheesecake Factory soon. I haven't done that in a long time. Or like a pizza mukbang. I don't know. I feel like there's so many places. And that mochi place. I'm so excited. Well, if you like chicken, give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe if you're not. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.